My name's Leon Smith. I'm the fleet manager with Tasmania Fire Service. Uh, we've been using the Hino GTs since they were released uh, in the crew cab configuration in 2006-2007. Since then, we've built close to 70 Hino GTs in different applications. The latest model GT that you see here today is one we're very proud of. In the manual transmission Euro 3 Hino GT in 2007, we did a retrospective fit-up of Allison automatic transmissions based on a functional requirement. Uh, for top end speed as well as off-road performance. Um, we work with Hino over the years and Hino have subsequently taken on board that information, recognised the benefits and now the 2500 Allison is offered down line from Japan, uh, which is fantastic. They've listened to the industry as a whole. The Allison integration was driven from the fire industry and Hino to their credit have taken that on board and they've actually spec that down line as an option which is just fantastic for us. Two years ago we started to scope uh, a compressed air foam capability which was new to Tasmania Fire Service. We did a lot of research, uh, we brought a lot of ideas together and it was in January of last year that we came up with the final specification to build the vehicle and during last year, last calendar year, uh, we had it designed and fabricated and commissioned it in December last year. The 2630 Hino platform was chosen on specification. When we scope any vehicle design we start from concept. Um, and working through the scope and the spec, uh, the, the Hino 2630 lent itself to the application nicely. Working very closely with Hino from day one with the bodybuilder to be able to ensure that we met all of their bodybuilding requirements as well as all the ADR requirements for axle masses and functional performance and everything. And their support's fantastic. Their technical support and after sales support's great. Uh, we had the opportunity and we're requested to attend the Hazelwood Mine Fire uh, in December. Uh, with our CAFS capability, with our trained crew, and it really validated the compressed air foam capability over there. It was very successful. So after Hazelwood, uh, we realised the potential for a broad acre application of compressed air foam um, off the 2630 platform using monitors. The truck performed really well. It's a really well suited platform for this application. The nature of the CAFS that the vehicle generates really revealed uh, everything we thought it would, which is just validation, I guess, but a fantastic outcome. It's a great result. For more information, visit Hino.com.au. Hino, a better class of truck.